So management, as we know it today, kind of works, meaning that it exists, companies are successful, you know, many employees are more or less happy with their work. But you look underneath the surface and you see a number of structural flaws and a number of really worrying signs. I'll just identify a few. First of all, the credit crisis of, of 2007-2008 was a crisis a failure, if you like, of policy and regulation, but it was also a failure of management. There's no question that management mistakes were you know, in the middle of what went wrong there in the collapse of Lehman Brothers and many, many of the other investment banks. Secondly, you look at the, the data in terms of, for example, how well regarded managers, business executives are by the general public. And the evidence is quite damning. It suggests that they often rank below the journalists, below, below the lawyers, you know, ahead perhaps of the second-hand car salesman, but not many others. The evidence is very, very worrying there. Um, there's another piece of evidence, for example, in terms of how people like to spend their time and work. And the evidence says that people would prefer to spend their time alone rather than talking with their boss. So lots of small pieces of evidence that, that management as we know it today doesn't work as well as it might. And indeed, the final point that I would make by way of kind of acknowledging a problem is to say that the word management has become tainted to the extent that many people almost refuse to use it. One piece of evidence is a colleague of mine who was doing a study of executive MBA students and he got them to describe the work that they do. All of them are managers, all of them have people reporting to them. 45 people filled in a questionnaire and talked to him. Not one of them was prepared to use the word manager to describe their work. They all describe themselves as change agents or leaders or entrepreneurs. They all describe the nature of their work, the professional activities they're engaged in. But the word manager was somehow deemed to be inappropriate or somehow too narrow or too control oriented. So management needs reinventing, first of all, purely from a kind of a rhetorical stance of we've got this important word. Everybody is a manager. We, we teach management in business schools. We teach management in the wider society. And yet, for whatever reason, people are afraid to use the word to describe the work that they do. So, you know, management, in, in essence, as a definition, is getting work done through others. Uh, that is a definition which has stood the test of time. It applies as much today as it did thousands of years ago. And yet, for many, many reasons that I've talked about, management in that basic form is not somehow legitimate, is not something that people want to talk about themselves as doing. Now we could, we could kind of give up on the word of management, and some companies I know have done this, they've said, we want to make everybody a leader. But I think that kind of sidesteps the issue because leadership is not the same as management. Leadership is a process of social influence, that is how we persuade people to follow us to go in a direction. Management is getting the work done. And arguably, we need both of these. Arguably, companies have had too much leading and not enough managing recently. And I'd just like to see us redress the balance. So we need to recapture the spirit of the word management. We need to bring it back into the mainstream organisations in terms of the way that we talk about and address the nature of work that we do. That is the basic reason why we need to rediscover and, and reinvigorate management.